we're going to get started here in just a minute with our Southern Four Wheel Drive TechNet 2020. Okay, so hi everybody. I'm Al Sweeney. Thank you for tuning in to, to our very first Southern Four Wheel Drive TechNet discussion. This evening we're going to be uh, going over the the just do an overview of our TechNet series. We're not going to do a lot of technical stuff this evening, but uh, we're going to talk to you about what the TechNet series is. Let's let, let's let Michael uh, introduce himself first. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name's uh, Mike Morrison. I work with Morrison's Outdoor Adventures with my wife. I am a, uh, by profession, I'm a four-wheel drive trainer. I've been training for roughly the last nine years. Um, with military groups, commercial groups, as well as recreational groups uh, in four-wheel drive, precision four-wheel driving, recovery. Um, and I've been certified through the International Four-Wheel Drive Trainers Association for the last eight years. Myself. Um, I'm the director of education for Southern Four-Wheel Drive Association. I got started in off-roading in about 2010. Uh, you guys had been doing off-roading probably for 40 years by that time. I got started with a local club, Trick and Traction. Uh, Jim Berliner, some of you guys know, and other members took me under their wing and taught me a lot about safely enjoying off-roading. <clears throat> I'm trying to return that favor. So this tech net's going to be part of that. And um, 2011, I was introduced to Southern Four Wheel Drive Association at Trail Fest. Uh, I learned about the mission of the association. So I got involved. Um, I was elected the vice president of Southern many years ago, but at, in that position, I worked with Ray Stanley to create additional director positions. And because of my passion for training, I begged and volunteered to move, be moved into the director of education role. Okay. So, um, since then I've earned my tread lightly master training certificate, um, a few few years ago, I met Michael Morrison. Say, hey, Michael. And uh, Michael sort of became my mentor. He, he's going to he's like the best instructor for off road stuff that I've ever met. So enough about me. I know Mike's already talked a little bit, but let's let uh, let's let Mike tell us a little bit about him and about Morrison Outdoor Adventures. <laughs> so. Um... My wife and I run Morrison's Outdoor Adventures. Uh, it's a new company that we just started um, to basically provide education and opportunities for families to get outdoors. Our primary focus is uh, the four-wheel drive aspect of it because that's where most of my background and my passion is. Um, we do a lot of uh, stuff in the overland community as far as trips. Um, and excursions to faraway places. Um, and with my background in the four-wheel drive training, uh, it fit perfectly. So <laughs> we are um, full-time RVers. We live in a camper. My wife, two kids, and two dogs, two enormous labs. And we now um, travel the country. Uh, Al convinced me to help uh, be co-director of education with Southern Four Wheel Drive, which gives me a great opportunity to um, give back to the community. Southern Four Wheel Drive has always been uh, great to us when I worked in the URI area, and I'm excited to be giving something back. So hopefully I can bring something nice to the table. Thank you, Al. Okay, so let's let Jay tell us a little bit about himself. I think most all of us probably already know Jay, but Jay, tell us a little bit about yourself. And then, then talk for a few minutes about Southern Four Wheel Drive Association and and the association's mission, please. Having me um, having me talk about myself um, because I, I I can talk a lot. So I've been four wheeling almost almost all my life. Um, been been doing it for, for a very long time. Uh, I've been uh, started out as treasurer of Georgia Bounty Runners became president of Georgia Bounty Runners, became president of the Southern Four Wheel Drive Association. Way back in the day, uh, last year, I stood up to be vice president of Southern Four Wheel Drive Association and knew Ray was um, uh, 
dropping off. And um, I, so I said, okay, I'll uh, be president once again. Uh, did not know that we would have a, uh, a coronavirus in the middle of all this um, and would have to be canceling some wonderful events. Um, so I've been four-wheeling for a long time. Everybody knows me as the ice cream man. Uh, I remember the first time, first time I was president of Southern, somebody said, what do you mean, the ice cream man's our president? I, I voted for Jay Bird. I'm more than the same. Um, I'm a master trainer for Tread Lightly. I'm an ambassador member of the United Four Wheel Drive Association. I'm a lifetime member of the Blue Ribbon Coalition. So I, I've, I've been doing a lot and then working with the Forest Service um, years on a lot of different stuff. So Southern is very important to me. Um, the Southern Four Wheel Drive Association was founded over 33 years ago with, with three core principles, conservation, education, and recreation. And what Southern is, is an association of great four-wheel drive clubs around the Southeast. Um, some people, you know, confuse us for a club, but then there's the social club, that, which is your local club that has your whatever, and then we're the association, and we try to help out with that conservation, education, recreation. So uh, let me talk a little bit about uh, conservation and recreation because this is all about the education part. So conservation, so over the years, Southern has partnered with the Forest Service and other landowners, um, and many times we've bought in equipment uh, or lots of volunteers. We've helped with RTP funds, and it's all designed to keep places open for us to ride. Um, we've lost some, um, and we have won some. So there's been there's been some you know there's been some ups and downs to this. Currently, we have got one of the best things going out there. We have got a grant program for club members that they can apply for for grants um, to keep uh, trails in their in their community. If they see something that that needs a grant or, or something, they can apply for it. It'll go before the board and before the club will vote and decide to get to give some money. Over the last uh, few years, we've given away over two hundred thousand dollars to keep trail systems open. So that gets me into the recreation side because any of this without uh, money. And so how do we raise our money? We rate, we have two big events that we raise money for, which is uh, Trail Fest and Dixie Run. Sadly, we had to um, cancel Trail Fest uh, because of the, the virus going around, etc. And so I'm, I'm a little bit worried about funds, but I am really excited about um, Dixie Run. We're going to have it at Windrock this year. It's going to be fabulous and i'm hoping that we can make it one of the best ever because we're going to need it to keep those trails open so make your plans dixie run october 2nd through 4th at winrock that's uh that, that's the current plan um we also have some numerous uh, meet and rides we'll do daniel boom backcountry we've done uh coppinger cove we might uh i heard golden mountain is uh opening back up so we'll probably have a meet and ride up there check it out see how things are going so um be on the lookout as soon as uh, they open things up we will get the rides back going and and maybe you know hopefully have some fun and do some social distance four-wheel driving key to a lot of this is education education is the cornerstone of of what we do and trying to keep the trails open and trying to um, use the use the forest or use the trails responsibly. And yes, I've been four wheeling for 30, 40 years. And uh, yeah, I have been that Yahoo in the past with the beer cans and guns and, you know, going out by myself and had to walk out. And But now I know better. And I know better because I have learned over the time and I've educated. And that's that's what we need to do is we need to educate the people that are going out there now. You know, don't go out by yourself. These are the tools you need to carry. This is how to work the tools. Um, so that's that's just uh, what uh, what needs to what needs to be done. And this education piece is so good. So okay, so we we talk about education now. 
uh, that's one of the key tenets of the Southern Four Wheel Drive Association. And, and um, I'm going to assume that you didn't hear the previous, my little, my little speech. Uh, so early this year, we held a leadership conference. Jay led that leadership conference. We spoke about conservation, recreation, and education. And the bottom line is the result of that conference, education was an area that everyone thought Southern Four Wheel Drive needed to continue to focus on. Before we get started explaining Southern Four Wheel Drive Association's TechNet, uh, I just, this COVID thing really got in the way. Uh, I've been working with Michael Morrison. Uh, we've been working with BF Goodrich, Warren, Clemson Four Wheel Center, meeting with those experts, trying to figure out how best to deliver education to our community. These sponsors had some great ideas, and believe it or not, we had one or two ideas too that they agreed with. Um, our whole purpose was to deliver information to help people wheel safely. We plan on having face-to-face -face sessions across the Southeast. And then, guess what the thing is? COVID-19 virus. Uh, the results of the stay-at-home orders and social distancing guidelines uh, caused us to rethink our whole educational program for 2020. So rather than conduct on-site training classes like we all love to do, we plan to deliver a, a group of live streaming sessions uh, to you guys on topics that we think will be of interest. We're, we're going to pick the first two or three, and we're going to let you pick. We're going to see if you can stump the expert. That's you, Mike. <laughs> so we'll, we're going to see if you can stump the expert. And... Uh, and teach some training. Okay, so while we're going here this evening, I want to talk about the, the um, TechNet structure. Uh, if you have a question, just enter it in the comments. I really would like for you to put a big capital Q in the front of it. That way it jumps out at me and I see that it's a question. And, uh, and I can click on it like I do right here for Darlene and look, I look at the picture. I hope you guys can see that. Okay. So just ask a question. And we'll do our best to answer it. So, so Mike, I'm going to see if your audio works now. Tell us a little bit about the future of Morrison Outdoor Adventures. Where, where do you think you're going to go? First of all, for the next month, I bet I know the answer to that. And then after that, what are you going to be doing? So for the next month or so, our goal is um, very similar. Um, and why we partnered with Southern Four Wheel Drive on this is to provide kind of virtual learning opportunities uh, for people. So we will be staying kind of in place where we're at now. Uh, practicing our social distancing, but we are creating a um, a YouTube channel with various different YouTube videos for outdoor skills, um, showcasing uh, four wheel drive products as well as teaching how to use them correctly. Uh, and we are currently working on creating a set of outdoor videos that children, while they're at home right now, um, things that they can learn and do just you know in the backyard or uh front yard whatever uh but right there at home so that's what we're working on right now as soon as um you know travel kind of opens up our goal is um to get out and start holding some face-to-face -face trainings and trail rides uh and continue working that aspect but we do want to continue with the virtual learning uh i think um you know this was always something that was kind of in the back of uh, my wife and i my kind of mind um, but now we obviously have the time to do it uh, while we're kind of set in place. So now the thought process is let's continue it. You know, when you've got time, you can pull up a video and watch it um, or log on to a live video and watch it. So it's a great opportunity. Well, Mike, I hope 
the having these sessions on Facebook will give people the opportunity to watch it live. Plus, they can always click on it and view it later. Uh, I plan to take the videos That's right. we create here yep. and put those on YouTube and then other social media outlets so that folks can um, look at them later. Okay. Definitely. So let's, let's talk about the topics. Here's, here's our vision, y'all. And you can have input. This is where you can uh, reply in comments or, and tell us that we're off base or make suggestions of things you want to see. Uh, this past week on Tuesday night, I tuned in to Mike and Sarah's uh, live Facebook stream. And Mike went over recovery gear. It was absolutely great for me. I learned a lot. So I hope our first ex episode, Mike can talk about recovery gear and techniques. Uh, we, we probably won't be in the field for that. It'll be like this. You'll see Mike sitting in his beautiful RV. And, uh, oh, I thought he was reaching over to pull Sarah over so we could see her. But, uh, <laughs> but, but maybe he can teach that one. Uh, just some basic equipment. We can there she is. Hi guys. So we can do uh, basic equipment, attachments, points, a little bit about rigging, uh, keep it short, and just just some things that some people may not know about or need some reminders. Okay. The second episode, I plan to uh, be on site with the second episode at Clemson Four Wheel Drive Center. Uh, Cole is their chief technician down there, mechanic, technician, expert, whatever. But we're gonna get him crawling around underneath the Jeep, talking about suspension, uh, terms I don't understand, caster, camber, tow-in, how it affects driving, how you know whether you have a problem with the way your vehicle's handling or not. So, uh, so we'll have a guest speaker there, and we'll be on site. That'll be our first uh, attempt at doing one of these outside the office. Episode three, I hope to have BFG as a guest speaker, and we're going to talk probably about tires and traction control. There's a, there's a lot of neat stuff on our new vehicles that can help us if we learn how to use it. Okay. Episode four. Maybe winching 101, or maybe something about winching. Um, and uh, Jake, I know there's a delay in this thing, but I'm going to put up what Jake said. Jake gives me a hard time about the way I pronounce Clemson. <laughs> so, uh, but after number four, by that time, we will have time to receive comments from you guys. Put them in the comment section here. And we'll try to uh, do a session on the topics that you're interested in. Now, if you stop, Mike, maybe we don't get it. Maybe we'll let you teach that session. But we'll, we'll do, do it. And while we, while we all combine and can't get out and play, let's, uh, let's, let's keep doing this. So the really, really neat stuff, and probably why you turned tuned in, and you may have even heard about it, uh, we're going to do some incentives. Tonight, every one of you guys that commented over there in the comment session is going to have an opportunity to win a spiderweb shade trail sack. Okay. Uh, if you saw the post on Facebook, Southern's Facebook, you saw my lovely wife putting trash in a trail sack. So that's what we're going to be giving away. Got your choice of colors. I know you're probably going to want Clemson orange, but we also have tan and gray. So you'll be able to choose. Then the next week, we're going to give away a Clemson Four Wheel Center goodie bag. Next week, we're going to give away a car hard backpack. Your choice, black or brown. The next week, which will be, I think, week four, 
we're going to give away a Jayco Elite tire pressure gauge. Uh, and then I'm going to be out begging people for things to give away between now and then. And if we can continue this thing, we'll give away more. Okay. So let me uh, little dog and pony if I can. So here, here's the spider web by Trail Sacks. Uh, I don't want to give away too much, so hold on here. here here's a little, little Jayco tire pressure. Here's the brown Carhartt backpack. Tell me that ain't cool, y'all. That's for free. All you got to do is comment. Why we're going to ask, oops, I turned, I dropped you. The way we're going to execute this thing is anybody that commented tonight or that comments after the fact up until midnight Wednesday night will be eligible to win a trail sack. I'll take all those names, throw them in a hat, pull one out. Next week at our TechNet session, we'll announce the winner. Now, if that's not cool enough, Wait till you hear this next thing. I'm going to put the slide. I'm going to try. No, I'm not. Last time I did this, I lost audio. BF Goodrich has partnered with us to, to put this TechNet series on. They've given us a gift certificate for a set of five KO2s or KM3s up to 37 inches. Y'all, if you buy that big old wide tire, that's a two thousand dollar value. Okay, it's not quite as simple to register for the tires, though. What you have to do is you have to comment right here, just like you're doing now. But you got to put, you got to comment, B. F. Goodrich, and you got to share our video. Everybody that does that will be eligible to win this set of tires, but we're going to be doing this all summer. So um, we'll, we hope to do the drawing for this set of tires, which is dedicated for this education series at Dixie Run. That's the first weekend of October. And I know Jay's been sitting over there quiet. I'm going to, I'm going to click this right here and I hope he shows up. There's a small I'm place. right here. Okay. So uh, I'm here. So that's that's about it for this week, Jay. Um, All right. So I'm not seeing any questions. No one's put a question thank- mark or anything up. So uh, you want to? You think we're going to make Dixie Run? I think we're going to make. Year? I am looking forward to Dixie Run. Even if we have to social distance Dixie Run and everybody's going to have to spread out in the raffle, we're going to have a great Dixie Run. And uh, I want to thank BFG for the set of tires for this training. I know we had a little glitches early on, but it's going to get better as we go. And, um, you know, somebody's going to win a set of tires just for watching videos. Yeah. And and keep in mind, you have to comment BF Goodrich. Uh, Nate has a little trouble with spelling Goodrich. So reply again, Nate. Okay. Just, just play on my technology here. I apologize again, everyone, for the problems with audio at the beginning. Um, I had some other things planned that we're going to be able to do, but I was afraid to click on them because of the audio problems. We'll work those out before next week. Uh, Anything else, Michael or Jay? Uh, Stay safe, everybody.